Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny shifty and sparkly eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be talking about some really, really beautifully packaged makeup. I do have a video up previously where I talked about some other beautiful packaging. I believe it was Perfect Diary as well as, oh, what's the other brand? As well as Flower Nose, I really, really am into packaging. If you didn't know, I am a graphic designer. So that is definitely something that really interests me and something that definitely influences if I buy a product or not. In this video, I'll be showing you three beautiful products from ZC and Palace Identity, which are Chinese makeup brands. They did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to try anything out and I was like, oh my goodness, yes, because I've been eyeing them for such a long time. I've made cards countless of times. I thought it would be great for a video. So today I'm going to be showing you one product from ZC. This is the eyeshadow palette and it's called the British Museum and ZC and I think it's called We're All Mad Here. I'm not sure, but it's Alice in Wonderland themed. So we've got the little kitty and I'll be showing you some close-ups as well as swatches of this palette. But this is a beautiful purple color story. So I'll be creating this look with that palette and then the other two products are from Palace Identity, which I'm sure you've seen them floating around somewhere on Instagram or TikTok because they have some really, really stunning like photography and embossing. So this is the blush. I think it's the peony blush. And this is the packaging. I will again put up some close-ups. And this is just a stunning kind of three-tone blush with a little bit of overspray on the little thingies in the center of the flower. So I will be demoing that as well. And then lastly, we have the lipstick. Oh my god, this packaging. <laughs> it's really, really heavy, super detailed, really stunning. I mean, this just sitting, you know, on display is absolutely gorgeous. And then of course there's some stunning embossing on the actual lipstick. It was really, really painful to actually use it because I really didn't want to mess up the beautiful engraving. But makeup is there to be used and I really wanted to try out the formula. I already did an eye look with the palette as well as use the other two products in a Reels and TikTok. You would actually see it on the YouTube shorts. I do have an affiliate code and a link down in the description box with Palace Identity. I will put up the code up on the screen if you're interested. So let's get right into the demos. Priming my lid with the Glam Light Eyeshadow Primer. These do not have names, but I'm gonna go in with this darker purple first. I'm gonna tap it onto my inner corner and outer corner. Next, I'm dipping into this purple down here, and I'm gonna use it to blend that shade out that I just put down. And that seems to be blending just fine. I'm gonna go back in with the darker shade just to get it a little bit more up in there. Same with this outer corner. Tapping on some NYX glitter primer right in the center of my lid. I'm just, I'm gonna pick up this really light iridescent shade and I'm gonna tap it in the center of my lid. I currently don't have any flat brushes to do this with. I actually just wash my brushes probably not the best idea right before I'm filming but it's fine the shade will look really pretty layered over this darker purple I feel like it's looking a little strange over here so I'm gonna just go in with a little bit more just like a iridescent touch all over the center next I'm going back into that plum shade and just connecting my lower lash line I do that on both my inner and outer lower lash line. Picked up that iridescent shade and I sprayed my brush. I'm gonna go underneath my lower, center of my lower lash line. Finished off the look with the Kiss No Filter Lashes. And in the waterline, I have Insomniac Eyeliner from ColourPop. So I wanted these lashes to be really nice and light to go with this eyeshadow look. Next, I'm going to be going in with this blush and I'm going to be using the Refer 05 brush and just kind of swiping in and this is how much it picked up. It's pretty pigmented, especially if you're using a natural hair brush. So we're going to do both sides just to see how it applies in both sides. So I can get like just a little bit of a flush if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to put on just a little bit more so you can really see the color. There's a little bit of like overspray on the inner portion like right here. Of the flower what are these called i'm not sure what these are called but the rest of it looks matte so let's do the other side i think this is a really nice buildable blush now does it go with this look not really so the last thing to put on is this lipstick this is the shade m10 which i thought looked actually really brown when i first opened it but it's a very taupey shade i think i'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit further it's like a little bit brownie but it's not so brown that I won't like it. 
and I feel like it's pretty stiff so I really have to go back and forth. I thought it was going to be matte because of the way that it looks but it's probably just because of the engraving. So this is what this shade looks like on my lips. Obviously it's going to vary a lot based on your skin tone and based on your natural lip color. So those are all the products that I got to try out from CC and Palace Identity. I definitely want to buy more from Palace Identity because I just love this packaging and I love the attention to detail and just the engravings in it. Like it's just so special and it just makes you feel a certain way when you're using it. I do not mind at all actually using the product even though it's really beautiful. I'd much rather use it um, than have it on display only. And this lipstick is just absolutely stunning. I love this so, so much. I think it would be cool if they had some other shades that were maybe like a different kind of dragon on them. But anyways, this is nice and heavy. This packaging actually reminds me, I think it used to be I'm trying to remember, it was like a blue, really beautiful, uh, bright blue lipstick. I think it was from Estelle Lauder, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's what it reminds me of. The blush is very pigmented, but very buildable, as you could see. I did, you know, put on a little bit more just so you could see the shade on my skin tone. As for the eyeshadow palette, I think it's important to keep in mind that people don't have the same preference or trends of makeup as we do in America. And so I think if you like lighter washes of color, a little bit just in general, like something softer, then this would be for you. I personally do like really, really pigmented eyeshadows, though I can definitely appreciate something a little bit lighter, but that's why I went in with the Glam Light Primer because I wanted something to completely cancel out any sort of discoloration on my lids, as well as have a little bit of that tact because you can build it up to this. Like if you have something tacky and you just pack it on and then blend it out, because these blend it out really, really nicely and I mean they layer really nicely. I think the mattes are really nice. The shimmers are a little bit on the drier side. They're super, super soft. These will not accentuate any skin texture. You could really, really just get like a wash of shine, a little bit of sparkle, uh, but I really obviously like a really, really shiny eyeshadow, so I wanted to use an glitter primer to really bring out the full potential of the shimmers. I use a center shade in my Reels and TikTok video and really, really stunning shade all over the lid. Like, I mean, it has a lot of dimension. There's a lot of sparkles throughout it. And overall, I really like this color story because I do love me some purple eyeshadows. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything from ZC or Palace Identity. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. There's so much bigger content up already on my channel. You don't want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.